So one of the changes I'm particularly also happy about is that um, it's well recognized nowadays that one of the most important roles of a leader is to be able to also coach your employees. Yeah. Um, and coaching was not always that accepted. So is that also what evolutionary coaching is about? If you're a leader or, or a coach, um, it's fundamentally important to be concerned about the healthy psychological growth of your employees or your coaches. Uh, you want um, the people you are coaching to uh, fully emerge from themselves, to be the best versions of themselves they could be. Yeah. And that's what evolutionary coaching is about. Yeah. Um, so it, it begins by identifying what stage of development a person is at. Um, and then, uh, once you know that stage of development, you know what their needs are. Mm -hmm. and the second part is, well, so what is it that's holding them back? Mm. And identifying what's holding them back. And usually these are fears that we developed um, early on in our life, uh, subconscious fears, um, and we need to be able to release them or at least master them. So this is where personal mastery also comes mm -hmm. in. So that's what evolutionary coaching is about. Was that what stage of development are you at? What are your needs? What's holding you back? Mm -hmm. And then eliminate what's holding you back. Yeah, yeah. So getting more conscious of it also. Yes. And also being able to to, to master those. Yeah. This is interesting, huh? Because this is a, a new way, I would say, also of of mastering your personal development. It's not only at home; it's also at work. Yeah. yeah. Um, actually, um, you know, it, it's really about becoming conscious. I mean, you said that word, it's really about becoming conscious. And so what does becoming conscious mean? It means being aware of the impact of your actions and behaviors on other people, mm -hmm. being aware of the impact of your thoughts and mm -hmm. beliefs on your physical and mental health. Mm -hmm. And then most importantly, caring about the impact of your action and behaviors on other people and caring about the impact of your thoughts and beliefs on mm -hmm. your physical and mental health. So. In a nutshell, that's really what evolutionary coaching is about. It's about becoming conscious and helping people to become conscious. Yeah, and then developing and fully, evolving. Fully developing a person's innate gifts and talents so that they can grow and develop. Mm 